Hey everybody, Cindy here. Um, I am here to do another pick and choose, but I did have my deck of cards, but I didn't have as many prompts in them as I liked, so I'll explain this in a minute. What I've done is these were my uh, pick tens, I think, and what I did is I actually took just some masking tape and I put two of them together. There are no rhyme, no reason. I just grabbed two sticks, stuck them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these sticks and let's say pick out, let's go, let's pick up six. One, that one's backwards, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Now if you notice, they're actually bent together so that I can't see what the prompts are. All right, so we'll put those up there for now. So I have six different um, choices here. So let's see what we've got. We've got uh, create an envelope or a pocket and add fabric to your page. So one or the other. So there's one. Let's see. Uh, add three textures of any type or add fibers or bead, etc. for texture. These are going to be interesting because I want to do them a different way this time. Um, use white paint to create bubbles. Ugh. I'm trying to get this masking tape so it'll actually sit like this. Um, use gel pens to doodle a border. Oops. Oh, I closed it. Let's see. This one is draw three curvy curved lines vertically or draw seven straight lines. Uh, use a napkin as a focal point or use lids for circles. And last but not least, do last two prompts again um, in different colors and, or use turquoise to create the sun. So here are my pick and my chooses. I'm going to keep track of which ones I decide to do. I'm not really sure at this point. I'm going to set these aside for right now and I want to explain what I'm doing here. Um, you're going to see a video come out right before this one. And basically what it was, was taking my, um, these are all, except for those, those are different. These are all uh, labels, just um, tags from clothing or whatever, right? So these are all just tags. And I decided one day I was sitting here and I wanted to do something. So I thought, you know what? I have a ton, a ton, a ton of jelly prints. So these are just, again, more clothing tags and art tags and you name it. So I said, well, let's start using some jelly prints. So here they are. I've got a whole bunch of tags with all different kinds of jelly prints on them. And I've got a whole bunch of shapes with different jelly prints on them. So what I'm going to do today is I don't know how many of these I use or how I'm going to do it or in what order. I haven't thought about that yet. But what I'd like to do is use these for uh, my pick and choose. Now, my thought was is to use like three prompts on each one. That was my thought. So like pick three out of here or, and pick three out of here. Um, I thought about that. I thought about doing like I have a couple of these. I think I do. Uh, right here. So like doing... Um, three and then the other three on these. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Like I said, these are just used for inspiration. They're suggestions. It's not something that you have to do exactly to the letter. So that's why I'm deciding to bring in my tags is because I want to be able to do something that's just a little bit different, a little bit unique, maybe make some um, pages, you know, make some tags or ephemera so I can put them on pages in my journals. So, like I said, I will make sure all the directions are in the box below. And I really hope you guys, you know, play along, take these prompts, suggestions, whatever, and have fun with them. All right, that's what I plan on doing. So I'm going to get to it, and you guys enjoy.
All right, so there you go. We have two pick and chooses. Well, I should say one pick and choose that we divided into three different steps. So I have this one, whoops, this was on this tag, um, that's got the flowers on it and it says believe. Now the steps for this one was um, draw three curved lines vertically, which is what I did. Uh, add fabric to my page, which is this, well, my page to my task. Uh, wipe paint to create bubbles or gel pens to doodle. And I did the doodle around the outside with the gel pens. And then I decided to take a little bit of glitter pen, just, you know, some ink, just to make it a little bit different. I really didn't like the flowers as they sat on there, but now that they're this kind of red and orange, I don't mind them too bad. All right, so there's that one. And tag number two, I have to keep these so I can write them down in your description box. Um, tag number two, we had to use a napkin as the focal point, which I got this zebra. Um, or use lids and make five circles. I didn't feel like doing that. Um, add three textures of any type or add fiber, beads, etc. I actually have three different textures on here. I have the texture of the cloth. I have this which is going to stay rised. Um, this is a pearl pen and it doesn't it doesn't sink and go flat. And then I also have using this um, which is tulip beads in a bottle. This also has a texture to it once it's dry. Um, and then do the last two trap pumps again which I didn't want to do or use turquoise to create the sun. Do you know how hard it is to use turquoise to create the sun? I have no idea where that one came from. but. So I did use turquoise, I did use a little bit of white, and then I was thinking about putting yellow in it, and I thought, yeah, blue and yellow turned green. So that didn't work. Um, so I just did a little bit of the yellow, this guy, <clears throat> which is also actually a fourth texture. Uh, same thing, it, it's a, this is a primary yellow, it will not um, flatten. So I decided to do a little bit of yellow on this, but I still wanted to see the turquoise through it. So I left that and then I just decided to add these little copper pieces all over. And I can tell it's been a while since I've used my pearl pens and stuff because, yeah, you saw my blobs, right? Oh well, it worked. I'm not going to put any word on him for right now. I want to just leave it as is um, when I put it down either in a, on a journal page or in a whatever, in a little book, blue book. I don't know. At that time, I'll add a name. This one, I did want to put Believe on, which I did. And um, I just dug these out of my stash the other day. These are Sharpie gel pens. I normally use this type of a Sharpie pen, which has like a felt tip to it. But um, I was digging around in my pens the other day and I found my Sharpie gels. And these just, they work so much better. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely show me what you did. I'd love to see your guys' projects. So, you know, just shoot me a note, whatever. I'd love to see. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will make sure I have all the prompts in the description box. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.